Yo, what is going on guys, my name is Garu and welcome back to a new week 2 challenges video and this is gonna be a complete guide for the week 2 challenges that is out there. We are gonna go through each and every single challenge which is being shown in the screen right now. Set your chest in different name locations, damage opponents in different types of weapons, eliminate opponents in snobby shows of fatal fiends. Then we are gonna go inside some battle power challenges which are gonna be really simple. Stage 1 visit snobby shows and pleasant park in a single match. There's gonna be 2 stages. Then you gotta play sheet music on the pianos near pleasant park and lonely lodge. We are gonna show you guys the exact location and how do we actually do that. Then we got another challenge where we gotta compete in a dance off at an abandoned mansion. And last but not the least, eliminate an opponent at least 50 meters away. We are gonna go through each and every one of them and just in case if the challenges do change, I will be making an update so yeah, have a look out for that. But mostly these challenges are not gonna change. And yeah, if you guys are new and if you guys wanna see more videos about the you know weekly challenges, then hit that like button and yeah, subscribe if you are new because every time I post a new video, you guys will be the first one out there who will know about all the location for the battle stars and all the new stuff. So yeah, join the notification squad and I'm actually running a 27,000 V-Bucks giveaway for the Christmas last year if you guys want to join it then check out the first link in the description and you guys can join the 27,000 v bucks giveaway but other than that if you guys are getting something from the item shop then use your boys code real dash guided that would be amazing and if you guys do so make sure you guys take a picture and tweet that at me and i'd love to you know give you a shout out on my next video my twitter is going to be at Gado gaming so yeah moving on to the first challenge for the week two challenges is going to be a really simple one search your chest in different name locations if you don't know what this means all you got to do is go over to like new locations if you open a chest in tiller towers then the next chest that you are going to open in tiller towers that's not going to count you got to go to a new location like shifty shafts solid springs and open a chest over there and you got to go to like seven new locations like solid springs dusty david lucky landing fatal fields retail row lonely lodge these are like the best spots that you guys can actually go in team rumble with a plane and actually open these chests Get a plane from Frosty Flights and yeah, have a look out for the gameplay which is going on in the background because I'll be showing you guys how I actually did all of those challenges. Moving on to the next challenge which is gonna be damage opponents with different types of weapons and you gotta do it with 5 different types of weapons and to be honest this has to be the simplest challenge out there. Okay so how do you actually complete this challenge? Let's just assume you have each and every you know weapon in your inventory right now. And the best way to you know actually complete this is gonna be in a squad game because it doesn't matter with which weapon you guys actually you know knock someone off what matters the most is like with which weapon you actually finish that guy off so if you have a legendary rocket launcher in your inventory and if you knock someone down with your gray assault rifle just use that rocket launcher to you know get the elimination i mean that is a waste of a rocket ammo but hey you'll be done with your weekly challenge and you'll be out for the grind for the other challenges because there's like a lot of challenges this week, so yeah, just knock someone down with some other weapons and then get the, you know, fancy stuff out and try to get the LM that way. But yeah, this is the easiest way how you guys can actually do this challenge. Moving on to the next one, which is gonna be eliminate opponents in snobby shows or fatal fields. And to be honest, you guys can pick any one of them, but mostly all you gotta do is know all the chess locations because whenever there's like a challenge where you gotta eliminate, let's just assume, opponents in Pleasant Park and everywhere. People will be running with their pickaxes, okay, and they won't know where to you know, actually, you know, open those chests or maybe their landing is gonna be really bad. So yeah, make sure you know all the chest locations, whether it's at Snobby Shores or at Fatal Fields. I really suggest you guys, you know, go at Fatal Fields because there's like a lot of open space. Check the, you know, bushes and people might be camping over there and you guys can easily get like three eliminations over there. Moving on to the next challenge, which is gonna be visit Snobby Shores and Pleasant Park in a single match. And to be honest, this has to be the simplest challenge out there. Just go over there, it's not even like that far, you guys can probably take a golf cart from, you know, Snobby Shores and then just drive your way out to Pleasant Park, you guys can do that as well. But yeah, if you get a plane, definitely do that. And yeah, once you actually complete this challenge, there's gonna be a stage 2 for this, so yeah, do that again with, you know, a quad crash or maybe a plane. If the distance is really far, then definitely use a plane and that will really help you out with this challenge. And yeah, the reason I'm telling you guys to actually take a plane, because... There could be like a stage 2 where you gotta go for like a very long distance. So if there is a really, you know, hard stage for stage 2, then just take a plane and you guys should be good. Because for the last season, we actually had like shadow cubes on. So, you know, traveling for long distances, that never used to be a problem. But now we got planes. So yeah, if you have any problems, then use a plane and you guys should be good for the stage 2 challenge as well. Moving on to the next one, which is gonna be play the sheet music on the pianos near Pleasant Park and Lonely Lodge. And to be honest... These are going to be the locations which is going on the background right now. This is going to be near Pleasant Park. And how to complete them is going to be really simple. All you got to do is go over there and play the music which is on the sheet, okay? It could be the same that I'm playing right now, but it could be different, okay? For me, as an example, I'm playing this right now and that is how actually you guys can do it. 
And once you actually play it, there's gonna be like a song that was gonna, you know, play after this. So yeah. So once that song actually plays, that means you're done with the challenge. So yeah, this is just a sample clip of me actually playing the piano and how this actually works. So as of now, the code hasn't changed yet. So do what I'm doing right now and you guys should be good. Because once you actually, you know, press these key notes, there's gonna be like a lot of people, you know, trying to roam around you and trying to, you know, pickaxe you. So yeah, just don't panic that much and try to, you know, focus on your key notes because that matters the most. Maybe you might have like one game ruined just a little bit but other than that you guys should be done with this challenge moving on to the next location which is gonna be near lonely lodge if this video is helping you out so far make sure you guys drop a like but yeah this is gonna be the exact location where you guys can find it and to play this this is gonna be really tough this is like a long you know stretch of keynotes so make sure you guys follow the gameplay and the things that i'm saying as well to actually complete this challenge because this is actually a really big note and whatever is in the keynote if it does change i'll let you guys know but as of now it hasn't changed just follow me through and you guys should be good so for this one i actually have a piece of paper where i've actually written it all down so yeah i'm just gonna follow that in the gameplay as well it's gonna be like c c c f f f e f g a a hash and g a that is what i will be playing on the background in the gameplay this is just again a sample clip of me playing the piano right now i hope the codes inside the music sheet doesn't change but as of now the codes are triple c triple f e f g a a hash g a so if you look at the gameplay right now, I'm you know jumping at C three times, then I'm jumping at F three times. Just take your time, don't you know panic that much, cause again there's gonna be a lot of players near you. So yeah, just watch out. Then you gotta jump on E F G A and then A hashtag G and A. Don't go to the left side of the you know piano. Stay on the right side of the piano, cause this is gonna be the exact location where you actually gotta complete that. Because if you play on the left side of the piano, the challenges won't get counted. Because if you look inside the, you know, the key notes, those key notes are in circle and not in boxes. But if they do change, make sure you follow the, you know, key notes, which is inside your music sheet. And that is how I actually completed this challenge. And that is how you guys can actually complete that challenge as well. Once I actually do that, there's going to be like a sound playing on the background as well. That means I'm done with the challenge. So once you actually hear that sound, that means you're good to go. And once you actually complete this challenge, don't leave the game because there's another challenge that you guys can go and complete that is gonna be complete in a dance off at an abandoned mansion and you only gotta do it once so all you gotta do is move over to the mansion which is next to the big piano so yeah once you actually go down there you're gonna see like a dance floor and there could be some enemies over there if you can't find any then just finish that game and go inside a new game because i'm assuming a lot of people might be you know trying to you know, complete this challenge so yeah once you actually go inside a new game there's gonna be a lot of people over there and this is gonna be the exact location where you guys can go and complete the challenge but yeah just go on top of these you know glowing boxes and try to emote and you guys should be good and yeah once you actually compete with someone you guys should be done with the challenge and again this is again a sample clip of me doing the challenge and how i actually did it so basically you gotta keep on dancing and if your opponent is not you know trying to do the emotes on top of like the glowing stuff then his point is not gonna get scored so yeah if you have an opponent just you know try to make him understand like go on top of like the glowing stuff because you gotta be there when you're trying to you know emote and that is how i actually did it and you guys can actually win this but i don't think you gotta win you know face off but again the name of the challenge is competed a dance off and it doesn't say winning a dance off so yeah moving on to the last challenge for today which is gonna be eliminate an opponent from at least 50 meters away and to be honest to complete this all you gotta do is head over to like Team Rumble or maybe some new gay boats. Don't try to you know do this in close encounters because with shotguns you can't really get that damage unless you're lucky. But yeah, other than that, it's gonna be really tough. And again, this is a sample clip of me doing these challenges and how you guys can actually do that. I'm inside a Team Rumble game right now and if you guys look at these clips, I was just using a heavy AR and I got those kills really easily. I mean, I'd really suggest you guys you know use like snipers and everything because in Team Rumble, a lot of players are like kind of static and they don't do much. So yeah, if you get a sniper or like a heavier or maybe even if you prefer a scout, then definitely use that whatever you're, you know, comfy with. But I really prefer you guys like a sniper or a heavy sniper. If you find that, don't leave it behind because, you know, completing this challenge would be really easy. And again, if you see someone knocked down in like a normal squads game and if you don't play Team Rumble, if that's not your thing, then yeah, if you knock someone down, go like 50 meters away and then, you know, just finish him off and you should be done with the challenge. I mean, this is just, you know, a small trick that you guys can actually uh, do and that will really help you out with the challenge. If you guys want to know the location for the secret banner for week 2, then check out this video which is appearing on the screen right now and you guys will know the location. And yeah, if this video helped you out, make sure you guys drop a like on this video and yeah, subscribe if you are new. I will be catching you guys on my next video which is going to be real soon. So yeah, have the notifications on and join the Gator Squad.
So yeah, goodbye and have a great day ahead.